What is up everyone? Mr. Aviator here and yes, today I am bringing you guys an amazing nerd block unboxing insanity live stream slash video. So I have six nerd blocks here. Literally it is as tall as my desk, this stack of nerd blocks. And we're going to open all of them on stream and I'm going to be answering some of your guys' questions in the comments. This is going to be a really relaxed video slash stream where we kind of just chill and open up two months worth the nerd block supply. Tons of epic geeky stuff is guaranteed to be in here, and I'm excited as all could be. Now, you guys, uh, before we do get into this stream, I want to talk about a couple things. One, I want to talk about my Twitter. I have a new Twitter. It's Aviator Games. It's for this channel. It talks about all stuff that Sims, all stuff about this channel. So if you guys love this channel, you guys should definitely go check out Aviator Games Twitter, which is down below in the description. So if you guys haven't seen it yet, definitely go check it out. Give it you guys are watching. Go give that a follow. It is down below. Okay, and also... Let's start this bad boy off with a hashtag like spike. <laughs> so if you guys haven't liked the stream or the video yet and you're enjoying yourself or you're excited, make sure you do slap that like spike to spread like awareness for likes all around. Okay, so without further delay, we are going to cut open some nerd blocks with my handy dandy steak knife. It's got a lot of gross stuff on it. I don't know what happened to it. Uh, okay, so the first thing we're going to start off with is just, you know, your plain old original nerd block. Now, this one is usually one of my favorites. The arcade block and the original nerd block are usually the best ones. Uh, but let's get started by slicing this tape open. Ugh. Okay, so as you guys can see, we have this epic nerd bo block here. I'm not going to look. I'm going to show you guys what's in there. Okay, so now let's get started. Okay, so as always, Nerd Block comes with a t shirt. And this one comes with Flashsicle. Oh, man, have you guys ever had popsicles like this? Like they're from the Ice Cream Man, they're like SpongeBob ones. So it's playing on Flash slash Popsicle since I guess summer's right around the corner. Okay, that's a shirt I can wear. I'll, I'll rep. I'll, re <coughs> I'll rep the Flashsicle shirt. Okay, so let's set that down there. Now the next thing we have, you guys, uh, in between blocks, I will be answering your guys' questions or anything you want to ask me, feel free to. But another thing we have, which makes me extremely happy, is a Breaking Bad Titans vinyl figure. Now these bad boys are at your local Hot Topic. Um, I thought they were smaller than this. This must be like a special edition. But these things are $12 for the small ones. Like $12.50 for the small ones. And this one's huge. This is four and a half inches. It is a Nerd Block exclusive. So since we're a subscriber to Nerd Block, we're getting special treatment. I really want to cut this open because I really, you guys know me. You guys know how much I love these, these geeky toys and geeky accessories. Uh, yeah, tell me down below, guys, if you've ever had a SpongeBob ice cream. Because those are delicious. Like bubblegum eyes. And that's, oh my god, it comes with a little coffee cup. Okay, hold on. I'm going to put this bad boy together. But, um, let's see. Okay, so, oh god, what does the coffee cup say? World's greatest lawyer. Okay, so let's, let's pull him out. Does he hold the cup? Now, if he holds the cup, you could color me impressed. Oh my god, he does. Guys, he holds the cup. Okay, so mine's got a few blemishes on it. That's to be expected with anything made by Funko, but here you go. Look at this. We got a Saul Goodman holding his little coffee mug. Now this thing's huge. Look at my hand compared to this thing. It's big. This thing is, this is going to be awesome. I'm going to put that on my desk. That is my new favorite thing that NerdBlock has ever given me, and they give a lot of epic stuff. Okay, so let's set that over here. Now, I see a couple decks of cards here. Now, these decks of cards are called Nerd Play. Now, what are these? So, Nerd Play 10 Exclusive Cosplay Trading Cards Series 1. Okay. So, I'm guessing they're going to make some series of um, cosplayer cards. Let's go check out how these look. Okay. Don't want to cut myself in half with my my knife today. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Okay. So, so it's got their little cosplay names. Yuffie Bunny or, or Yuffie Bunny. Uh, oh, Yuffie Bunny. That must be who they're cosplaying as? Or is that the person? I think that's the person. So basically, yeah, that's the person that they are or who they go by. So yeah, it's just a whole bunch of different cosplayers. And then on the back, it says like their height and like where they're from and uh, what year they started cosplaying in. And that's pretty crazy. So that this is, this is interesting. 
I could get behind this. I could get behind these. And they're all, I think, nerd block exclusives or no? No, they're not. Oh, no, they're not. Okay, so let's open the next deck. I just want to kind of see what these all look like or if we get any similar ones. I think these are the same. I think these, yeah, these are the same. So it's two similar. Oh, there's a couple different cards, but it's two similar decks of cards. Okay, so those are cool. I don't know if I'll ever get into collecting cosplayer cards, but, you know, if you guys are really into cosplay, you got cosplayer cards now. So <laughs> that's cool. Oh, wait, what's this? What is this? Look at this. Um, includes a notepad, two pencils, and an eraser, and two erasers. So it is drum up some ideas. Okay, so it's a it's a notebook. It's a notebook with little drumstick pens and erasers. Now, they don't make any real sounds. It's just for show, I guess. So that's cool. I guess this bag is not a toy to avoid danger. Don't suffocate yourself in bags, everybody. So I'm not even going to open that. We got a notebook. Cool beans. Now, I think the last thing in here, or one of the last things... Our Star Wars comic book. Nerdblock lately has loved giving comic books away. So this is Star Wars Issue 1 Variant Edition. Um, so if you guys like reading comics, Nerdblock lately will be the best place to get comics. Literally every Nerdblock I get a ton of comics. Uh, or every month I get my Nerdblocks. There's literally a million comic books that come in them. So like you get like a good two to three comics every single month. Let me set this stuff over here so I don't have a pile accumulating over here. Okay, so, next we have the little, you know, poster card saying what's in the nerd block, and, uh, three month subscription of your choice. Oh, there's a contest going on, I guess. Okay. Oh, and there's two exclusive nerd block items in here, and they're, they're mystery items. Uh, let's, let's have a look at what these are. Okay, so, pop these open, and, oh, they're like a bracelet? If I could, I can't get these on my hand, but they're like a bracelet. But they're like little connects. Do they unconnect? I want to, uh, I don't know if they do. I don't want to break them. Okay, so I'm guessing this is going to be the same. So I think this is going to be a pink one, though. Yes, a pink and black one. So we got two little, like, connect-type bracelets. You can mold them and do whatever you want with them. Like, look at that. That's, that's pretty cool. I'll get behind the little bracelets. And I think that's it. We have another postcard talking about more stuff inside the box and the exclusive Saul Goodman shindig bob doobity thingy. Uh, so let's toss all this back in the nerd block here. Um, and perfect. Okay, so I'm going to close this one up. Now, you guys, if you have any questions or any comments you want me to read, feel free to uh, shout them from the rooftops because in between boxes, I'll read your guys' comments, so this can be kind of interactive, laid back, and fun. Uh, also, I want to mention again, don't forget, Aviator Games does now have an official Twitter. It is linked down below, so if you guys already follow me on Aviator Gaming, don't forget to follow me on Aviator Games, because we do other stuff on that Twitter, other fun stuff. <laughs> I look Canadian. I'm from Wisconsin, and now I live in Washington, so I've lived near Canada my whole life. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going to open this bad boy up, and look at this. Look at this. Look, oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when is my next Sims live stream? My next Sims stream will probably be tomorrow. If not tomorrow, I'll have a Sims video. I have something to explain to you guys a little bit later in the stream, and I'll explain it more in depth on Tuesday. But I will be traveling uh, next week Thursday until next week Thursday. So I, I, I have some stuff to talk to you guys about. Uh, on Tuesday of this week, so get ready for that. But our first thing we got in our horror block is a watch. So if you guys didn't know, I collect watches, and I got one of these from Horror Block or Nerd, Nerd Block or Horror Block before, and they basically pop out, and it's a little watch, and you can set the time. It actually works, and it's a silicone slap bracelet. You just pop it right back in there, and you have a watch, like a really casual watch, it's nothing you would wear to a business meeting or anything, but you can make it work. So it does just slap right on and now I'm ready to go and fight the world. How long is this stream going to be? As long as it takes to go through all these nerd blocks, we're in the second one right now. So we're, we're, two out, we're in the second out of six. Okay, we got a t-shirt here. Now this does not look like it's my size. No, it is. Okay. Uh, together forever. Now, isn't this like, uh, 
that Frankenbride, something like that, Frankenbride. So we got a, a Frankenbride t-shirt, pretty cool. Then in here, we have a stuffed animal. Uh, this is a zombie virus stuffed animal. So I guess this is what a zombie virus looks like. Uh, it's circular like a cell, kind of, and it's got really uh, creepy eyes and these little, these little grabbers. So you like, like, Mrrr. okay, so a zombie virus. <laughs> that's kind of unique. That's, that's, that's kind of weird, but I, I, I can still, I can still appreciate it. Then, uh, what else? Oh, ooh, whoa, what's this? Zombie containment unit. So, it feels weird. I'm gonna open this bad boy up. I'm curious about this. Let me toss this back in here. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, now that it's open. So, it's a drum. It's a drum filled with, like, a liquid. I don't wanna, ooh, ooh. What is this? What? Look at this. <laughs> oh god no what is this oh god there's a guy in here there's a little there's a there's a oh god this feels like snot oh what the heck it's a zombie it's a zo oh that's disgusting oh god this is the nastiest look at this it's a little zombie and this stuff is gross oh god this stuff is so weird I used to have stuff like this when I was a kid. Ugh. Like, listen. It's like, oh, this is disgusting. Look at this. Oh, God. Okay, get this back in there. Get that back in there. Oh, Jesus. That is disgusting. And it's sticky. Oh, oh, God, no. It's like, it's like boogers, guys. It's like boogers. And we got this little zombie guy that came in. I guess I'm going to not contain him anymore. I'm going to play a prank on somebody with this stuff. It's really, it's really disgusting. That's disgusting. Okay, so we got the zombie containment unit. Uh, what else is in here? Okay, so we have... Holy crap! We have a full book called Bitten by Kelly Armstrong, a New York Times and Globe and Mail best-selling author. And this book is huge, and the print is small, so for you readers out there, over 412 pages, I think 415 pages, if you want to read a horror novel... Uh, smart, sexy, and supernatural meet the woman of the other world. So it's a huge novel, New York best t or Times bestseller. So awesome if you like to read. I'm not a big reader, so uh, then we have another magazine. Now they started including these, Rue Morgue. Um, they used to have like the horror magazine. Now this one's like a different one. I don't know if it's a discount one or one that's trying to get out there, but uh. Yeah, if you guys like reading again, you know, this box is for you. They they usually include a magazine every single box, and it's usually pretty cool. So, okay, so let's close that off. That's two boxes. So if you guys have any questions or anything you want to talk about, like I said, in between boxes, we'll do that. Uh, trying to have some fun in this stream. Because I know this is kind of something that you're not used to seeing. I used to do nerd block videos, and now I have all these building up, and I wanted to do these. I wanted to open them. Um, so I know this isn't something you're used to seeing, on this channel, but it's something we could just relax with. It's Sunday. I, I was kind of like tired today. My body was drained, so I thought this would be fun and kind of relaxing to do. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Ah, sour. Oh, God. Um, okay, so what's up, guys? Hello. How was your breakfast, Zach? I didn't eat breakfast. I didn't eat breakfast. Um, I didn't eat yet today, so. I was I woke up and I was really busy in the morning and then I had to get my videos all uploaded on Aviator Gaming and I had to I had to get this stream prepared so uh yeah I didn't eat yet. How much have I missed? You have only missed about 13 minutes. So let's get into our third block. This is halfway through, guys. So the stream's looking to be about a half an hour. Um this is an arcade block and Arcade blocks are my favorite blocks, so I'm excited to open this one. But before we do open this, you guys, let's do another hashtag like spike! <laughs> so if you guys haven't liked the stream or the video yet, make sure you guys slap that like button. If you did, comment down below, hashtag like spike to help spread like awareness for likes all around. Okay, so we got our arcade block here. I'm going to slice into this bad boy. Now, I am traveling, like I said, you guys, so when I'm gone, I won't be able to live stream. But I will be making videos that will go up, you know, like the like the old days. Instead of streaming, I'll just have it as a video right away. Uh, that will kind of suck, but that's only going to be for a week. So don't you worry about a thing. Okay, so we have an amazing arcade block already. I'm excited. Um, 
Okay, so the first thing I'm going to pull out is a t-shirt, which I should know what this is from. Let me see. Oh, God, I don't know what this is from. I'm sure you guys can tell me, but we have an amazing t-shirt. I love navy blue t-shirts. They always feel comfortable and look good. And then we have a Link. A Link stuffed creature, and it's actually licensed by Nintendo. So we have a little Link here. Look at this. And he's got a little shield on his back. Look at that. Look at that. He's going to go find Zelda. That's awesome. Okay, this is really cool. And he's got a little sword and his, his arm. Uh, and it's, oh, it's good. Okay, I like it. Okay, so Link. Now, another thing we have is a mystery egg. And that's kind of fitting because it's Easter. So it's a Sonic the Hedgehog uh, buildable figure. So this is going to be interesting. Try to do this on live stream. Try to build this. Oh, God. Oh, God. Be careful. There's knives here, guys. There's knives. Right, okay, so let's see. Now let's pop open this egg. Um, and, okay, so it's a Sonic buildable figure, like they said. <laughs> okay, so let's pop it open. Dump all the little pieces out. Get that piece out there. Okay, so it's actually not in that many pieces. This should be pretty easy. Uh, what I'm going to do is just stab his head on here. Th these are kind of cool. Ugh. Okay, and now he's got two arms. That need to be stabbed on, and this guy looks really angry. I'll show you guys him in a second. Uh, if I can get his arms in. <laughs> These build -build figures are so difficult. Or is this the wrong one? Oh, I think I had it in the wrong side. Oh, I did. Okay, so this is actually a pretty easy one to build. Holy crap. I've had some hard ones in my days, and this one is easy. So, let's pop, get in there. You're supposed to just slide... Does it slide in there or does it pop in there? Like, this is what he looks like. Eh. 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 Okay, he's going to have one arm. <laughs> Sonic. A black Sonic. I don't know. I know, what, I know he's a character in the game, but I'm just not sure who he is. I'm not the biggest Sonic fan. But then we get a mouse pad. It's a pretty small mouse pad, but it's cool. I can get behind a mouse pad. I don't know what game this is from. Definitely from the, the Nintendo uh, era. Uh, okay, what else is in here? A Pac-Man with authentic Pac-Man sounds keychain. So we have a Pac-Man keychain. <laughs> I don't use keychains because I put my keys in my pocket and I don't usually have enough room in my pocket already as it is. And then we have a mystery box in here which is heavy. I'm guessing it's going to be some type of glass or coffee cup or something of that sort. They've given those in the past before so I'm guessing that's what this is. If I can cut this open without killing myself there we go okay so let's see what it is <laughs> okay let's see shadow oh it's shadow okay that's who it is okay thank you guys for the help we got shadow from sonic oh this is awesome this is really awesome because if you guys didn't know i live in seattle washington and that's the home of starbucks starbucks was founded here and look at this Star Fox Coffee from the game Star Fox, but a parody of Starbucks. Isn't that awesome, guys? I'm going to have to drink all my coffee and tea out of this. This is now my new favorite cup, Star Fox Coffee. Okay, I'm going to put that bad boy over there. Uh, let me toss all this stuff in here. Okay, seal that bad boy up and plop it right there. Okay, so you guys, we are halfway through this stream slash video. Um... So, okay, so I'm going to answer a few questions. I see a lot of stuff going through the comments as I was doing this. Um, I want to answer the questions on like City Skyline, SimCity, uh, stuff like that. Um, City Skyline and SimCity, you guys will see videos of those. Um, I'm going to probably only keep one of those series going. I'm not sure which one yet. I'll probably do a straw poll on Twitter on Aviator Games. So, guys, make sure you go follow Aviator Games Twitter. It is linked down below. Yes, it's a brand new Twitter. You guys can be one of the first few hundred followers. Um, but, yeah, so I'm probably going to be doing... Um, I'm, when I'm gone, I'm going to air a few sim, like probably three or four Sims 4 videos um, on Get to Work and everything. I'm going to probably do a couple Sims 2 open for business um, and City Skyline, a, um, a Sim City probably, and see how they do. And probably whichever one does better or whatever the vote is, I'll keep going. Um, and I'm probably going to do a vlog when I'm gone too. I'm not going to tell you guys where I'm going yet, not till Tuesday, but. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, so the next block we're going to tackle is another horror block because I just wanted to do these. These are my least favorite, the horror blocks. And I and they're good blocks, but it's just I'm not into that kind of stuff. So I guess we'll just, we're, we're going to open this one next because I want to save the best two for last, the nerd block and the arcade block. 
Now let's see if this surprises me though. They could surprise me. Okay, so we have a t-shirt, of course. And what is this? I want to see it first. Dixon Motorcycle Repair Walker, Walker Removal. So Walker comes from Walking Dead, Atlanta, Georgia. So this is a Walking Dead uh, t-shirt. Awesome. Okay. Oh, God. I think... Okay, okay. Hold on. This might actually be a really good box. This tomb has remained sealed for over 10,000 years. Open at your own risk. So it is a tomb. Do you dare break the seal of the pharaohs? Yes, I do. I... Oh. Oh, okay, I'm opening the tomb, guys. I am opening... <laughs> what is this? What is this? It's literally like a little plastic crank with like... Like this. Uh, and okay, well, that's... I guess we're gonna open it. It's a 3D puzzle. Uh, oh, it's a 3D puzzle. Whoa, wait. What? Oh, okay. Okay, and does this crank run it? Let's see, this is... Yep, 3D mummy puzzle. Solve the mysterious... Are the mysteries of the pharaohs assemble the 3D puzzle? Watch the motor and watch a mummy rise and walk. Oh Jesus! So you make like a Plants vs Zombies, uh, zombie slash mummy, and it gets up and walks out of the little pieces they give you. So that's pretty cool. I don't know how that's gonna work, but I'm interested. I'll set that up. Um, then we have a horror block exclusive. What is this? What is this? Oh, it's a key. Oh, okay. Okay, so you can get this pressed into a key for your house. That's really scary and weird. I don't know if I'd ever do that. <laughs> uh, and then we have something really cool. I love these things. A Walking Dead AMC backpack. So it's one of those backpacks with the strings and you can just, you know, whoop, whoop, whoop. You can tie it up. That's pretty cool. I like it. It's got a really cool design on it, too. A bloody gory one. And what's this? Oh, wow. A Hannibal Lecter canvas. This is actually a canvas, guys. Framed and everything. So if you guys like scary stuff, I don't know if I'd want this on my wall. But if you guys like scary stuff, here you go. You got your own Hannibal Lecter canvas. <laughs> and then, of course, yeah, the Rue Morgue magazine. <laughs> so anything you guys want to read up horror-wise, movie-wise, you can read it up in Rue Morgue. They always throw us one of those. Uh, so let's set that over there. I'm running out of room, guys. We have so much stuff. Literally so much. Okay, so let's close this box off. <laughs> so much swag. <laughs> Zach's Life is Strange play. Oh, play Life is Strange. Oh, yes! I'm going to be doing more of that. I might stream that tomorrow. And tomorrow's going to be my last live stream because I have to start to queue up for when I'm going to be gone for a week. Um, I love that game. It's amazing. I'm going to finish part one in the next stream plus um, do all of part two. So it's going to be a longer one. Okay, um, why do I eat bananas? I eat bananas because they're good. Unless they're, like, it's kind of green and sour. <laughs> um, ah, what Sims Let's Play will, um, oh, I missed it. I missed it. <laughs> uh, we'll play the, we'll play the drumstick, um, notebook before we end the stream. Let me grab it. <laughs> we still have two more blocks to open. Let me just open this really quick. I'm kind of curious. Okay, so slice this bad boy open. Ugh. Got the drumstick. We'll play this right at the end. I'll play a awesome drum solo for you guys. <laughs> and it'll be fun, I'm sure. Okay, so let me set this aside for now. Uh, okay, so the next block we have to open actually got kind of destroyed in the mail. It's like crushed, so... Uh, this should be interesting if everything's still intact. Uh, let's open it up. Ugh. Now, this... <laughs> I don't know what they were thinking when they delivered this. They must have been like, oh, crap, we screwed up somewhere. Um, okay, so... Whoa, okay. We have a couple t-shirts in this block. And this one is Radio Free Kairat Rabi Ray Rana. I don't know what the heck this is. It's in an arcade block, so it's got to be something gaming-related. Uh, but I don't know what it is, so we'll just set that there. And then we have, okay, wait, 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 wait. Son of Time Lords. This is like a, ta a Taurus or a, something like that from Doctor Who. Okay, so maybe the other one was Doctor Who as well. I don't watch Doctor Who, so I'm not sure. Now, we did get, after those two t-shirts, another notebook. They love giving us these little notebooks. So this one is like a little game pad, and then you open it up. It's got your little post-it notes and, and everything, so... For those of you that love taking tons of notes, you got plenty of notebooks if you get all these nerd blocks. 
Now the street controller works with all games. Joystick shaped stress ball. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me open this up. I gotta see this. Okay, so set that here. Let's pull that right out of its packaging. So it's a little joystick, uh, like an Atari joystick, and <laughs> it's it's a stress ball. Oh my God, that you must have massive stress because this. This is not your simple stress ball. You could just move the joystick, I guess, like this. <laughs> but this is this is a big piece of foam. Okay, so kind of cool. If you're stressed out, give this joystick a squeeze. It's actually really hard to squeeze, but hey. Uh, then what else do we have here? A Street Fighter LED torch with a uh, Hadouken sound. Try me. I don't work. <laughs> oh, pull this tab. Okay. Hadouken. Hadouken. A dog and a dog. Okay, so a cool little Street Fighter keychain. Um, that's pretty cool. Uh, like I said, I don't use keychains, so not the biggest fan. Oh, and we got another comic book. Arkham Knight uh, Batman, issue one, of course. <laughs> and it is by DC Comics. So if you guys are into reading comic books, we already got two great comic books here. I love Batman, so maybe I'll actually crack this one open and give it a read. Um, and then that's it for this box. That box was kind of disappointing. Uh, a lot of stuff I don't like or don't use in this box, and it was crushed, but hey, you know, beggars can't be choosers. I'm just glad nothing was broken. Even the comic book is intact, so pretty impressive. Oh, God, my tower is falling. Don't you fall. Okay, so we only have one more block to open, you guys. So I'm going to take some of your questions right now in between opening this last block here, which is a nerd block, uh, original. So, before we do that, I'll take any of your guys' questions. Is my job YouTube? Yes, it is. Um, YouTube is my full-time job. I love it so much, and because of you guys, I get to do it full-time. So, a uh, big thank you to all you guys. How much do I love you all? This much! So you can't even see. It's not even on the screen, because it's, it's so much. Um, <laughs> let me pull up my, my phone. My phone's got a little better chat speed. Um, you're my inspiration. Well, thank you so much, Quicksilver. Trim your wife, you, or do you go to the hairdresser? I go to the hairdresser to cut my hair. And, uh, I go to the barber shop, and they give me a real good cut. <laughs> and it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty fun. I can't cut my own hair. Um, my hair's getting pretty long. I could probably start to put it in a ponytail soon enough, so <laughs> I got to get a haircut soon. Um, are, am I doing Sims today? Not today, um, because I have to get ready for my trip. I'm going to be gone from Thursday to Thursday of this coming up week. Uh, so for a week I'll be gone, and I need to get all my videos done. So I have to conserve my Sims so I can make those videos when I'm so for when I'm gone. Uh, so Monday I'm going to do a live stream. It'll be the last stream. And then um, this piece of hair is bothering me. There we go. And then Tuesday I'm going to do a video telling you guys where I'm going, what's all going on, and it's going to be pretty fun. Uh, I also want to do uh, reading hate or mean comments soon. Uh, I asked you guys on my Twitter, on the Twitter for Aviator Games, if you guys want me to do that, and we got a huge reply as of a yes. So if you guys want to check out my Twitter, like I said, Aviator Games is down below. But uh, we guys, you guys, we are about a half hour into this live stream. You know what that means? I'm not even gonna say it. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for another hashtag like spike. So if you guys haven't liked the video or the stream yet, make sure you guys slap that like button. If you did, comment down below, hashtag like spike, to spread that like awareness for likes all around. Okay, so my knife is getting disgusting right now. It's because of the tape. But we're going to cut into our last nerd block now. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah. Okay. Now, this one feels heavy. This one's going to have a lot of stuff. Now, let's, let's see what the shirt is. Oh. This is uh, Sean from Sean of the Dead. Look at that, a slice of fried gold. <laughs> I love that movie. Okay, so we have a Shaun of the Dead t-shirt. Uh, what else is in here? <gasps> I already see something I'm going to love, but I'm going to save it for last. So let's look at... Oh, God, I love it. I love it all. Okay, let's just look at this first. So this is a money world. Or a, a, tur a tick tricky, a tricky. Which color will you get? So these are little collectible figurines, I guess. They come in different colors. So let's just crack these open. Uh now, what color are we going to get, guys? There's tons of colors to get. Oh, I see. Okay, I see how this works. And then there's stickers to design them. So let's let's design our little tricky, I guess. Okay, so let's open this up. Where's the open marker? Here we go. What color? Let's get yellow. Lemon squeezy. Let it, dang it. <laughs> we got purple. So purple is our tricky color. Now, what is this? Oh, it's a paintbrush. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to design our tricky. So here's the stickers we have. 
And here's our tricky. So let me quickly, I'm going to design it, then I'm going to show you guys what I came up with. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it if I can. If I can, I'm going to set tricky down for a second. Now this is going to be kind of difficult. I'm not going to lie. This is going to be, oh, I got it. Okay, here we go, because that was kind of difficult. Uh, okay, so we have these little... Oh, God, this she is going to look so messed up. And yes, I've decided it's a girl. <laughs> My tricky is a girl. <laughs> okay, so let's... Come on, give me, give me that sticker. These stickers are on there. They don't want you to take their stickers. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. Okay. So this... She's already looking kind of weird just with one eye. I'm hoping I can turn that around. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm coming along with something. Here's what I got so far. <laughs> so you can add these little eyes to them. There's like a ton of accessories to add. Um, we can even do a little hello. Okay, what, let me see if I can get this mouth off. Like all these stickers are super like stuck to this thing. And, oh God, she looks so messed up. Okay, we just need this nose, and I'm going to call her good. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I got it. Oh, wow, that was that was, that was was pro skills. And done. Oh, Jesus. I love you, Tricky. <laughs> okay, so that's our Tricky. Uh, that's the one thing in the box I was not sure if I'd like, and I think it's kind of cool. Uh, you got more stickers if you really want to deck your Tricky out. And they come with a little paint bucket, and that's kind of cool. So the Tricky's pretty cool. I can get behind the Tricky. Now we have Freeze Ice... Oh, Jesus. Mr. J's April Fool's Kit. We got um, little ice cubes that have bugs in it here. Let me show you guys. So let's open these bad boy up. So we have the little trick kit. So the first thing we have are these ice cubes. And as you can see, they're just fake ice cubes with bugs in it. So if you would get someone a drink... You would put the ice cubes in their drink, and as they were drinking their drink, they would see like there was something in one of the ice cubes, and it would probably freak them out. So, let me see what these are like. Okay, these are cool. So they, yeah, yeah, okay, so they're kind of hollow at the bottom, but they're, they look like an ice cube. So floating in a drink, this would look just like an ice cube. Uh, the bottoms are a little fake, but, you know, the rest of it looks like an ice cube. So, hey, and they, they kind of sound like glass, so that's cool. So we have that. And then the last thing they gave us is something I know I'm going to love because I like this kind of stuff. <laughs> oh, God. Give me this. Let me open you. Oh, there we go. Okay. So let me set that there. It's a whoopee cushion. Now, I'd, I think to blow these up, you need like a straw, right? Or is that just the easy way? Got my whoopee cushion blown up. So now I can do this. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have fun with this. I'll use this a few times. <laughs> so, okay, we got the whoopee cushion. Now we do have a full book in here. Nerd Do Well by Simon Pegg. He plays Sean from Sean of the Dead. It's a thick book. The print is small and it's looking around 360 pages. So it's not a, a, a small boy's journey to becoming a big kid. So <laughs> I'm guessing it's because he's a comedian. He's pretty funny. So this is this is pretty cool. This might be worth a read. Might have to check it out. I love Sean, or Simon Pegg. Now, the next thing I love because I love Guardians of the Galaxy. This is a rocket from Guardians of the Galaxy Magnet. So I can put that on my refrigerator. That's definitely going on my refrigerator. And then the last thing, and probably the most exciting thing, is the Guardians of the Galaxy Nesting Doll 6-piece set. So if you guys don't know what this is, um, I'm going to show you how these are done. Okay, so as you can see, we have a Groot Nesting Doll here. Uh, I think these are called Russian Dolls also, and then you pop it open, and there's another guy in here. So we have a Drax uh, Nesting Doll inside Groot, and then inside Drax is a... Oh, Jesus, a Star-Lord Nesting Doll... Uh, which is pretty cool. And, okay, so let me, let me continue. Let me, let me get all these clipped together to see the rest of them. Okay, so Drax, Groot, Star-Lord. Um, who else? Who else do we have inside Star-Lord? Oh, Jesus. Who is that? Okay, uh, oh, God, I can't remember her name right now. But inside Star-Lord, we have, 
the green girl, which I can't believe I can't remember her name. So let's put Star-Lord back together. <laughs> These are pretty cool to put on your desk or something. Then inside... <laughs> oh my god. And then inside her, we have Rocket, which is a really small one. There's one more inside Rocket, and I'm hoping it's Baby Groot. Be Baby Groot. Be Baby Groot. Oh my god, yes. It is a dancing Groot, you guys. It is a little dancing Groot, and then... Inside him is what you, where you can put like a secret message. It's empty. It's hollow. So if you wanted to put a little secret message inside your dancing group, you could. So that's really awesome. I, I would have to say this was one of my favorite boxes that we opened. This arcade block. Uh, let me toss all this stuff in here. All that garbage. Minimize my cleanup. Um, but you guys, that's all the nerd blocks we have. So I guess for a couple minutes, I'll answer some questions that you guys have. And, or whatever you guys want me to do, because I don't feel like leaving you just yet. Um, so if you guys want me, I'll answer some questions for maybe like five minutes. Um, and I think that'll be kind of fun. So if you guys have any questions, shoot them my way right now, and I'll answer them. You're my role model. Well, thank you so much, Tilly Rose Murphy. You're the best. <laughs> okay, so let's line. I'm, I'm putting all these nesting dolls back together. Um... Where am I from? I am originally from Green Bay, Wisconsin, and now I live in Seattle, Washington, so big things. And I'll probably move again by the end of this year to Los Angeles, hopefully. Uh, I used to live in Los Angeles, if you guys have known me for a long time, I lived there for a year, so might end up going back there for certain things. Um, uh, apples or oranges? Oranges, most definitely. I love the oranges. There we go, we got the Groots, I got, I've got them back together. Um... Where's my fiance? She's upstairs watching some of this new bride show. She she loves these like reality shows, especially on TLC and stuff. And she's watching one of them right now. So, <laughs> what happened to Zoo Tycoon? We finished it. We beat the game. Um, if you guys miss any of the stream, don't worry. It does go up as a video later on today. Like it'll it'll probably take 20 minutes after the stream, and it'll be up as a video, and you guys will be able to watch it. Um, do you like Batman? I love Batman. Um, where's your cat? He's upstairs with my fiance as well. <laughs> ah, eat a Carolina Reaper? No thanks. No thank you. Uh, how old am I? I'm 24 years old. I'm going to be 25 this November. <laughs> um, ch -ch -ch. Happy Easter. Happy Easter to you guys too. I hope you guys had a great Easter. I hope you got a lot of candy. Um, my mom sent me a package and so did my grandma, but my mom uh, sent me like this giant egg and, and stuff and uh, a few other things from a chocolate company that's local to Wisconsin. Um, <laughs> what is my favorite color? It's a light blue. I love blue. How much did you miss? The whole thing, pretty much. We're about to end it. <laughs> but don't worry, like I said, it does go up as a video. Why am I a YouTuber? Because I love doing what I do. I love playing games. I love talking to you guys. I love entertaining people. It's so much fun. Senpai, notice me. I see you. I see you. Uh, what does Haley look like? Ah, uh, she's on my Instagram. She has her own Instagram, too. Uh, so if you guys want to find her, you'll you'll be able to see her. Um, do I like football? It's my favorite sport. I love football. American football, that is, not soccer. Um, <laughs> but you guys, don't forget, Aviator Games does have a Twitter now. I did link it down below. Please follow it if you guys enjoy the channel and you want updates and, and witty tweets and, and stuff. Um, it's a good place to go. And also, you guys, let's end this live stream with a huge hashtag like <laughs> So if you guys haven't liked the video or the stream yet, make sure you guys do slap that like button. If you did, comment down below, hashtag like spike, to spread like awareness for likes all around. But thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Easter. Like I said, Monday we will stream. Tuesday I will tell you guys where I'm going for a week. But thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, remember to take it easy. Live and squeezy.